Marinas, welcome back to my channel or if it's the first time here, welcome! Today I'm here with my wonderful unicorn headband to make you a full face of first impressions and the brand that we're gonna talk about today is Primark in fact I have this bag which is full of Primark makeup and we're gonna test it out together to see if it works or not what's really interesting about this video is that for all of the products that I have in this bag I spent 56 euros which is more or less the price of a naked palette so for the price of an eyeshadow palette you get a full face of products. I only left out three products because they didn't have them anymore but other than that all of my face is covered up in Primark makeup so we're gonna see together if it's worth it or not. If you like these kind of videos, if you find them helpful please hit the like button down below and also subscribe to my channel because it really takes you two seconds and it helps me out so much. Also if you want you can follow me on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter all of the links are gonna be in the info box down below. But now let's get started with the video. As I told you there were two or three products that I wasn't able to find so what I'm gonna use today as a primer is this one by NYX and now we're gonna immediately go on with our base so the foundation that I'm gonna use today is this one that's called my perfect color and I'm using the shade ivory and this one was six euros the shade range was a little bit condensed just because there were like three or four shades left if I could I would have chosen something a little bit darker it feels a little bit thicker and heavier than I thought but we're gonna apply it and see how it goes I can swear when you go to apply it it just feels like glue like it sticks to your face I don't know if you can see it from the video but I'm really struggling to apply it well just because once you put it on the skin it just stays in there and you can't blend it in your skin it's a lot a lot patchier than I thought it would be so for the moment it just emphasized everything that I didn't want to emphasize it went in all of my fine lines my pores look huge when actually my pores aren't that huge I'm gonna try and blend it out with a beauty blender to see if it makes any difference so again even with beauty blender it looks a little bit better but the problems are always the same emphasize is your pores, gets into your fine lines. I really can't say that I like this foundation. Then I also took a foundation stick, but to be honest with you guys, I wanted to use this as a concealer. But right now that I see the color of my foundation, I guess that it's gonna be darker than my foundation, so I can't use it as a concealer. I'm thinking about switching up to this one, like on this half of my face. Hmm. And ta-da! Half of my face is gone. And now let's go on with the second foundation, which was the My Perfect Color Moisturizing Foundation Stick, which was 3 euros. I already like very much the fact that when you apply the stick on your face the warmth of your skin makes the foundation just melt and it's very very easy to apply I surely apply it too much I'm gonna go in with my beauty blender to just take away the excess honestly guys I'm amazed I mean if I didn't read the price tag and if I didn't know that it was from Primark I would have never said that this is a drugstore foundation I mean the coverage is so beautiful it got rid of all of my redness in here also it doesn't get too much into my fine lines it's such a luminous foundation can you see the glow that it gave to my skin. I really really love it. Now it's time for the most exciting part or at least for me because I found this set right here. I mean it's clearly like a dupe for all the Kim Kardashian line. This set was 8 euros. It was a little bit more expensive than the average price tag in Primark but it's also true that you have four products on the inside. If you count it all at the end it's like you had seven products together for 8 euros. So this is the contouring duo and as you can see you have a lighter and a darker color. I'm gonna start with the lightest one, I guess to blend them I'm gonna use my beauty blender I really like the color of this contouring stick just because it's not too orangey and that's something that I really really appreciate for some reason I guess it blends a little bit better on this side it seems like I can't get rid of the initial stroke that I did I'm gonna go in and add a little bit more as a blush I'm gonna use this one which is a cream blush which was 2 euros 50 and this is in the color hush blush it's actually so glossy that it looks like children makeup Oh, okay, so that was too much. So let's try and blend it in with our fingers. Guess what? Secret weapon. We're gonna blend it out with our beauty blender. I'm really, really, really digging this blush. And now I'm gonna go in with another product from the set I showed you before. This is the Highlighter Duo Cream. And I'm just gonna put it on the highest points of my face. This time you have a more pearly side, which can work as a base for your highlighter. And on the other side you have a salmony side, which I guess is just gonna work as a corrector. From the consistency, I can tell you already that it's not my favorite, favorite cream highlighter. I really like the luminosity that it gave to my skin. It gave this very 
healthy look and I really really like it it's just so natural time to set my base in place so I'm gonna use this banana powder that was four euros this was one of the most expensive products that I have in here which is very bizarre but at the same time I really hope that this is gonna be a very good banana powder for the moment I have to say that I don't like it that much just because before my skin didn't look that dry whereas right now all this zone right here I start having those little like white spots of dry patches where the powder just sticks to the dry patch also around my mouth my skin looks so dry right now it's such a pity then for highlighter I went a little bit crazy just because you know that I love highlighter so much I bought this palette right here which is the lunar glow I guess I got it on sale it was like for two euros I think and this is actually a copy for the Kat Von D Alchemist palette these shades just cut my eyes I thought they were beautiful then I got another highlighter for three euros fifty this is the mink pink highlighter this is so blinding so I think I'm gonna start by applying the uh, pink one by this palette and then I'm gonna go over it with the mink pink this went on so well thought it was gonna be patchy but not at all now I don't want to put the other one on just because I want to keep this on as well but for the sake of this video we're gonna keep on trying the other highlighter as well I have to say this is a little bit more buttery than the other one I really really like it and above all I like the fact that it applied well on the side with the normal foundation and on the side with the stick foundation so it means that the formula is very very good and here we are again like one hour later just because the camera shut down completely I had no battery left so now I'm gonna move on and do my eyes and the eye base is another product that I wasn't able to find anywhere so I'm gonna use this one by Kiko the eye base and honestly I wanted to do something different than all the other youtubers that I've watched because every single one of them used a palette that was already pre-made but I've seen that from now on you can create your own palette like with single eyeshadows these were one euro each and the palette was four euros initially but since it was the last one I got it for two euros and if you're wondering why my palette is not cohesive it's just because I took almost everything that was left <laughs> shade wise so I'm gonna start by using this peachy matte shade in my crease now I'm gonna go in with this shade all over my lid I was expecting something more from this color just because it's a metallic Now on top of it I'm gonna add this beautiful lilac -y shade And now I'm gonna go in with this dark brown to add a little bit of definition That looks like nothing <laughs> It's such a pity that it's so soft once you apply it on the eyes just because in the pan it looks very very dark And now for my inner corner I'm gonna use this Manila Shimmer shade right here And once again it feels like I have done nothing to my eyes So I'm gonna try and use this golden shade instead Nothing amazing but that's already better And now I'm all over lash line I'm gonna apply this color right here Followed by a little bit of this color and this color right here so when you apply the purple eyeshadow on its own, it just doesn't look like anything. Here we are with the second eye done. Honestly, I'm not that impressed about these single eyeshadows. The only ones that worked for me are this peachy and this chocolatey brown. I was so disappointed with this one just because I was counting on these to uh, give definition to my crease. It's so dark in the pan and it didn't show up at all like on my eyes. This purple as well was such a disappointment just because I really hoped that it was a full on purple while it's just like some purple glitter and this one as well I'm so sad about it just because it would have been the perfect vanilla shimmery shade another thing that we still haven't tried by the um, fake Kim Kardashian set is this one right here which is a crayon to highlight your brow bone so we're gonna try it right now I'm gonna comb my brows with my brush to fill them in I'm gonna use this little set right here which was 2 euros 50 and you haven't seen the best part it actually has a mirror on the inside for just 2 euros 50 you get a mirror as well and of course you get a eyebrow powder an eyebrow gel I guess you can call it and also a shade to highlight your brow bone I'm gonna use the brush that comes with the set I'm gonna start by the powder oh it's very powdery the powder is not doing it for me I'm gonna try with the cream product I'm so angry at this product right now I swear to you that I'm really trying it's just that this brush is so messy I have brow gel everywhere I think this is the best result that I'm gonna get so I'm gonna stop right here so now for eyeliner I've got two so this gel eyeliner was 2 euros 50 it already looks like I've been pranked just because there is so little inside the packaging there's 1.5 milliliters of product inside of this thing this brush looks 
so bad that I think that I'm gonna get one of my brushes. It's a pretty good eyeliner, it's just that it's not black enough. I mean, if I'm doing the effort of putting on a gel liner, it needs to be really, really black for me. I gave it my best shot and this is all that I was able to do. So we're gonna try the other eyeliner on my other eye. So this is the felt tip liner and this was two euros. The point is a pretty decent size. I already like the fact that it's much darker. Above all, if you think that this one is just one swipe against this one, which was like three layers of gel eyeliner. Liner. That's one thing that I really really like, but the felt tip is actually not flexible at all That's what made it difficult for me to apply it I went on and finished my eyeliner this side and I might have corrected a little bit this side as well I don't like this eyeliner just because the point is so stiff This is a product that I'm surely not gonna reach for and I also picked up mascara This is a 2 euros 50 mascara that's called runway ready. This is a lengthening mascara So the applicator is really unique because it has some bristles all over it, but it's also one of those applicators that have a little ball at the end this way you can go and redefine all the roots of your lashes I was really hoping that I was gonna save this look with my mascara but I guess it's not the case <laughs> it did absolutely nothing for my lashes it made them a little bit more black but it didn't give them length which was the only thing that it was supposed to do plus it seemed like it weighed them down that's really not what I want in a mascara so it's very sad but it's another no-no for me so let's move on to the last step which are of course lips which is something that I love doing I chose two different combos. The first one is this lip pencil which was 1 euro 50 and this is in the color Desert Sand which is a nude. I really really like the color of this lip pencil and I also like the consistency while I was applying it. It's very similar to the Cream Comfort lip pencils by Kiko which are some of my all-time favorite lip pencils. This for me is totally a yes and it's 1 euro 50. I mean I can't get over it. This lipstick was 3 euros and it's in the color Uncovered. It reminds me so much of the Nicki Minaj packaging for MAC. It's really identical to MAC packaging, just saying. Ooh, I think you've already understood by my reaction, but this is not the color that I went for. The color that I was looking at was like a peachy darker shade than this one. This one is actually a nude, like a pure nude. The taste, it's like a cherry-like taste, but it's so chemical and it seems very very matte where it's like almost dry matte. But we're gonna blend it out and see what I think about it. It's not as bad as I thought, it's just that I'm not like used to see myself wearing this kind of nude. It's too nude for my taste. But uh, the actual lipstick itself, it blended in very nicely. It did settle a little bit into all my lines on my lips, but just a little bit. So I have to say that I'm impressed by this lipstick. And now I'm gonna try the second option for my lips, which is this set right here, which was four euros for two products. So this pencil is actually different from the one that I tried on before. That one was super creamy, while this one is a little bit more stiff. I wasn't able to drag it like easily on my lips. And now I'm gonna go in with liquid lipstick. So this was very easy to apply and for the moment it's not patchy at all and it's not like sticking on my dry patches it also dried super fast like it, I can feel that it's already dry and it's also case proof so this is the second option I swear I wanted to keep this makeup on my face for as long as possible but my eyes are starting to burn and cry right now so I guess that all I want to do is take everything off my face and I think that the thing that's making me do this reaction is probably the mascara or the eyeshadows so this was everything for today's video guys thank you so much for watching if you find this video helpful please give it a thumbs up so that I know and also subscribe to my channel using the button that you have down below also if you want you can follow me on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter and I'll leave all the links for that in the info box down below so again, thank you guys so much for watching and I guess I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!